bet you all forgot about this rig. Well, what we're going to do today is we're going to drill out these rivets, take this whole front piece off. We're going to get the fuel tank out. Um, I've got to take a grinder and split this. It will not. It is ro rusted on there good. It won't come off. So we're going to split it and see if we can't turn this and get it off. I want to be able to put it back on because I want to be able to reuse it. Well, I've got a couple of rivets here. They're aluminum. Got to get them out. Drill these. That one, that one, that one. It's not many to drill out. I really don't want to grind these because of that fiberglass. You can see the gel coat's already cracking and pretty screwed up. I'd like to try to fix as much of the fiberglass damage as possible and then possibly scuff it up and repaint it. I want to paint it the original color if I can. But anyways, let's get after it right now. We'll get all this stuff off. We'll get the back piece off because ultimately we're going to get this frame out and rebuild it. You can see where it's rusting real bad in there. It's just rotten out all along the bottom. So I need to basically take this out and make an exact copy of it and we'll put it back in. And that'll give us <clears throat> things are tough to get off. Also missing some pieces back here. Had I'm sure it had some stainless pieces with a hole in it but you can see how rough it is it's real bad try to get that serial number plate off and hang on to that but I think the majority of the body's in good shape of course this needs to be watertight because it's going to be amphibious or I think they are anyways but we're going to make sure it is amphibious when we're done so let's get after it Probably still gonna have to rebuild it. See how it twisted? It actually opened that crack up, and you can see it's. So probably when we get ready to put this on, we'll just cut that off and make a new, new neck. <clears throat> All right.
too hot pushing that. What I could tell, the inside of the tank looked really nice. So I think we can get by with just changing this out. Now we're going to go back here to this section. Let's see what it's going to take to get it off. I guess it just hinges. I think we can just, I think we can just take the bolts out, and grind them off, and call it good. Thank <laughs> you. 
not really sure why that big hole was torched in it but we're going to use this piece but I'm going to patch that back up like it's supposed to be now let's get this one off first since it's going to be a pain now I say that See a little bit of the remnants of the vinyl that had it over there that covered all of this stuff.
steering. <sighs> now we need to get the back end up and get those wheels and tires off. Not even just okay, but it's not making it rain. Tuck
What we're going to do, we're going to flip this thing upside down, go to prying and pulling on it that way. got the whole upper body off front axle sheet metal on the inside we're gonna work on this bearing for the rest of the day and that axle and then I can get the frame out and then we'll go pick up some material and build a new frame so hope y'all enjoyed the video like and subscribe and stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this machine and we will catch y'all on the next one later